Welcome sa sip9.com In this video ay pag-aaral natin kung paano ba uh, kunin yung quadratic equation ng isang um, equation given its roots. No? So, before that, examine muna natin yung root ng, roots ng quadratic equation. So, dito meron tayong dalawang roots. No? Pwede natin paghiwalay yun yan. We have x sub 1 equals uh, negative p plus squared of b squared minus 4ac no? all over 2a at yung x sub 2 naman natin ay negative p minus squared of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a no? so pag pinlas natin yan we have x sub 1 plus x sub 2 we have uh, negative p plus squared of b squared minus 4ac. Notice na pwede natin paghiwalay yun to, no? Pwede natin ilagay na over 2a dito, tapos over 2a rin dito. No? Ang, ang, ang method na to, or ang principle na ito, ito ay dahil sa yung pag sinabi natin a plus b over c, pwede natin paghiwalay yun ng a over c plus b over c. No? So, ito yung pinagsamang fraction no na isa lang yung denominator at pwede natin siyang gawing similar fractions katulad nito no in the same way ito yung ating x sub 1 di ba this is our x sub 1 in the same way pwede na natin uh, paghiwalayin to mag magiging negative p over 2a no minus uh, p squared square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, no? Okay. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, may isa tayong plus dito, may, meron tayong isang minus dito, and then pareho yung kanilang terms, plus saka minus, magiging 0 na yan. So, we are left with negative b over 2a plus negative b over 2a. And again, similar fractions sila. Pwede natin silang ibalik na isa na lang yung kanilang denominators. So, we have uh, 2a ang kanilang denominator. And then, yung nasa itaas, negative b plus negative b. We have negative 2b, which becomes a negative b over a, no? Pag yung 2 divided by 2 is 1. So, we have x sub 1. We have x sub 1 plus x sub 2. No? equals negative p over a. Ito na yung uh, value niyan. Negative p over a. Now, uh, what happens if we multiply? No? If we multiply the two roots, what happens if x sub 1 is multiplied to x sub 2? So again, we have uh, negative p plus minus, uh, oh, plus lang muna, plus squared of p squared minus 4ac all over 2a multiplied to negative p minus squared of p squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now notice na ang form na ito is the same as x plus y times x minus y, di ba? Ang x natin, bali, ito yung negative p. Tapos plus, minus, plus, minus. And then yung y natin ito. So, ano ang product nito? Magiging x squared minus y squared, di ba? So, square lang natin to minus this one. That's the product. So, this becomes negative p square minus square of p squared minus 4ac quantity squared equals or over 2a times 2a which is 4a squared, diba? So, multiply the numerator and then multiply the denominator. Pag naman multiply tayo ng fraction. So, simplifying, we have uh, b squared. Ang negative b quantity squared is b squared minus pag, pag meron kang square root tapos in square mo, mawawala yung kanyang Ano no? Yung radical sign. So, magiging quantity p squared minus 4ac all over 4a squared. 
Also simplifying, we have p squared minus p squared plus 4ac all over 4a squared. So mawawala ito. Ang matitira na lang magiging uh, 4ac all over 4a squared. No? So cancel, cancel, cancel. Cancel. May, meron tayong matitirang isang a dito kasi a squared siya, di ba? So c over a. So x sub 1 times x sub 2 is equal to c over a. Okay? So meron na tayong product. Meron na tayong sum. So the product The sum of the roots I negative b over 2a and the product of the roots is c over a. No? Now, ano yan? Ano yung ibig sabihin yan kung meron tayong ganyan? No? Now, yung pinaka-original equation natin, di ba? yung sa quadratic equation, ax squared plus px plus c is equal to 0, di ba? Now, notice that if we divide all the terms by a, di ba pag nag-complete the square na tayo, dapat, uh, dapat, ano ito, 1 ito. So, para maging 1 siya, divide natin everything by a, no? So, ax squared plus ax squared over a plus b over ax plus c, di ba? equal to 0 and this cancels out na yung a so maging x squared plus b over ax plus c over a now ano bang pagkakaiba o bakit bakit ginawa natin siyang ganito notice that yung b over a b over a and then c over a c over a no? Ang pagkakaiba lang dito, negative. So, ibig sabihin, given the two roots, pag in natin siya, ito yung sum niya, the negative of this one, and the product is equal to this term. No? So, given two roots, pwede natin makuha yung quadratic equation. So, bigay tayo ng specific example. No? For example, um, x sub 1 plus x sub 2 for example, ang x sub 1 natin ay negative 2. At saka x sub 2 natin ay 7. For example, so x sub 1 plus x sub 2 is equal to negative 2 plus 7 equals, equals 5. No? And then x sub 1 times x sub 2 is negative 2 times 7 which is equal to negative 14. So, alam natin that x sub 1 plus x sub 2 is b over a, di ba? Negative b over a. So, pwede natin i-substitute x squared plus ang b over a natin ay negative, uh, sorry, ang b over a natin ay 5, no? Pero, negative niya. Negative yung kukunin natin. So, this is plus negative 5. And then, yung c over a natin ay this value is negative 40. May x pala tayo dito, no? plus c over a, which is negative 14, is equal to 0. So, kuha na natin yung quadratic equation na, di ba? So, you have x squared minus 5x minus 14 is equal to 0. Now, notice that pag finactor out natin to, pag finactor natin to, babalik siya. Kung makuha mo na itong roots na to, no? Itong roots na to, makuha na natin. Makukuha natin yan pag finactor natin to, di ba? Magiging uh, x. Ang factor niya is magiging x plus 2. x minus 7. Di ba? Equal 0 kasi x squared. Tapos 2 tsaka minus 7 is minus 5x. And then yung last term niya is 2 times negative. Se, minus 2 times 7. is minus 14. Di ba? So, ang root niya magiging uh, x is equal to negative 2 at saka um, ah, x is equal to uh, 
x minus 7 is 0, x equals 7. So, babalik siya dito, di ba? So, ang ginawa natin, binaligtad natin, given the roots, was a quadratic equation. Usually kasi, given the equation, what, what are the roots? Okay? So, I think, uh, yan na muna sa ngayon. Magkakaroon pa tayo ng more examples on uh, uh, getting the quadratic equation given the roots. Okay, so gusto ko yung invite sa signayan.com yung ating website and uh, kung gusto nyo mag-subscribe sa ating channel para updated kayo na every time na may bago tayong video, you can just click the subscribe button dun sa ibaba ng video. Okay? Sa ilalim ng video. Maraming salamat and see you in the next tutorial.